Hello everyone and welcome to the second video in our math crash course for the OpenGL tutorial. Today we're going to be talking about matrices <coughs> and how they will be very useful and how graphics and uh, programs and GPUs, how they use the matrices to actually generate what is on our screen. So what is the matrix? Well, it's a system and it's all, it, no, it's not that. Um, it's essentially a rectangular array or a 2D array of numbers. Um, so in the most general form, it's this right here. So there, it's, a, it's denoted by those square brackets there and it has a certain number of rows and a certain number of columns. So it's also indexed like a 2D array, um, but we don't use zero, of course. So like it says here, if we want to retrieve the number four in this uh, two by three array, we use the row first, so two, and then the column, so two comma one just like that. Um, for addition and subtraction, uh, if you want to add, uh, you're essentially, you have to have two matrices that are the same exact size. So two by two, they have to be the same. They can be three by two, they can be, but they both just has to have, have to have the same dimensions. If it's a three by two and a two by three, that will not work. Um, but to add, uh, you essentially just add the, oh, where did I go? Uh, you just add the corresponding components in the same index in the matrices. And to subtract, uh, you're just adding a negative, uh, which is can be used with a scalar product like we did with the vector. So you just multiply the whole thing by negative one, uh, and then you just add those to add the first one and then the, the negated second matrix. Uh, and then you just, it's as simple as that. It's just like ve uh, vectors, uh, matrix, scalar products, same as vectors. You just multiply every element uh, by the scalar product on the outside. Now, matrix matrix multiplication. This is going to be very. Um, this is going to be uh, pretty. It's going to be kind of confusing at first, um, but once we do a couple of examples, uh, it'll make sense. So, um, the principle is though, or there are two main points right here. Um, you can only multiply two matrices if the number of columns on the left hand side matrix is equal to the number of rows on the other on the second matrix. And so for in this example over here, we have two two by two matrices, so it works. Uh, if it's a three by three and a three by three, that works. Uh, let's say we had a four by three and then a three by two, that would work because there are three columns in the first one and three rows in the second one. Uh, and another point to think about is this is not commutative. So in that example, I just gave the four by three matrix multiplied by the two by three matrix or by the three by two matrix, uh, that will not be the same as the, th the three by two matrix times the four by three matrix, because there are two columns in the first matrix in that second example there and four rows in the second one. So they won't match up. Um, so let me just actually screenshot this example and I'll go over a little bit. So we have the first matrix, let's say matrix A is equal to this one, two, three, four, like that. And B is equal to uh, five, six, seven, eight. So when we multiply two matrices, what we're going to do is in the resultant, so A times B, you're going to you're going to get a two by two matrix. So we're going to get, so in the top row, what you're going to do is in the first column of the top row, you're going to multiply, you're going to take the sums of the products of everything in the first row with the corresponding num number in the, uh, in the first column of the second one. So we do over here, uh, we have a one times five. So the one times five, that's the first row in the A and the first column in the B. Now you, need, now you should see why uh, the number of columns in the first one has to equal the number of rows in the second one. So one here times five there. And then two by seven plus, so we're adding the products, two by seven like that. Um, and then in the second column, we're gonna stay with the same row in the first one. So we're gonna still use one and two, but this time we're gonna be using the second column. So 
it's 1 by 6 plus 2 by 8, like that. So essentially we're only multiplying by the, by the corresponding row in the, t in the A and the corresponding column in B. So it, it, it's kind of, once you look at it for a couple minutes and you'll understand it eventually. But we're only multiplying, so in the, result, in, in the resultant matrix, we're only multiplying that by the top row of B, by the top row of A in the top row of the matrix. So that top row there corresponds there. Um, and then in the, let me get a different, um, and then in the first column, we're only multiplying by that those numbers in the first column of the resultant. So these numbers will only appear in the first column of the resultant matrix, and the same with the uh, with the uh, rows in the first matrix. Um, so yeah, look at a couple examples of those, um, and you should eventually get do maybe do some practice. But it's not necessary because when stuff gets this bad, it's not going to be fun to do. When you have three by threes, four by fours it's not going to be fun to do. So we're not going to be able to do it. So essentially, um, we're, there's going to be programs and libraries that we will download that will allow us to actually just do this with a couple of lines of code instead of having to calculate and write our own functions in that. Um, all right. So now we're going to actually look at how to apply this to graphics. So in ma matrix vector multiplication, um, so in the last video we looked at vectors and in this video vectors can be seen as a like I said in that video vectors can be seen as a single column matrix and this will be useful because when we start transforming coordinates so in in OpenGL coordinates will and points on the grid on in our program will be stored as a, a 4d vector so there's going to be four coordinates or four components of the vector. Uh, it's going to be X, Y, Z, and then something else that has to do with shading. Um, and we will be able to transform this vector or this coordinate on the plane in our coordinate system by using matrices. So in this example right here, with the identity matrix, we have a ones, only ones in the uh, in the diagonal. Uh, and if we look at the matrix matrix multiplication, the number of columns or the, the number of columns in the first matrix, this four by four matrix, is equal to the number of rows in the second matrix in the vector, which is four rows. So four columns here, four rows over here. Um, let me just actually copy this also so I can uh, mark it up over here. Hold on. Oh, I don't want it there, but I can drag it. Okay. Okay. So. Where is it? Here's my pen. Um, so over here we have four columns, and here we have four rows. And if we do out the matrix matrix multiplication for this, which we won't, uh, you'll eventually get that it's just the one times one, the one times two, the one times three, and the one times four. So this is called an identity matrix here because it doesn't modify any of the actual values in the thing. Um, so next, uh, we can we're going to look at some scaling. So let me just zoom in here. Uh, so the scaling, um, if you want to scale something in the x, y, and z, you will you will replace the ones in the diagonal with that scale factor. So if we wanted to translate this vector here, um, and once again coordinates are are, uh, are, are analogous or frick, um, they're the same thing as vectors. Coordinates and vectors are, are analogous in OpenGL. Um, so when we scale something, we're going to replace the ones with the scale factor for the certain, for each corresponding coordinate. So it'll be S1 times X here. So X will be, so the X coordinate will be multiplied by S1. Not, uh, all that good stuff there. Um, and the same thing with Y and the same thing with Z. Um, translation uh, is a bit different, but if you do the math out, if you put the translations on the right side, you will end up adding TX to X, TY to Y, and TZ to Z, um, just like that. Homogeneous coordinates, uh, hmm, I have no clue what that is. 
uh, but don't worry about that for now. Um, so yeah, that's translation. Uh, this will be used to translate each coordinate by tx, ty, and tz. And we can also think about uh, the translations like a vector, like a vector of displacement. So we translate it, we displace the coordinate by tx, ty, and tz, and those are the individual coordinates of of the uh, uh, of the uh, translations there. All right, and something similar. It might not seem like it, but you can rotate. Uh, something uh, using this translation matrix as well or transformation matrix um, all you want to do is you're gonna have to do some calculations here like I said before uh, this is not stuff that we're gonna have to do this will be give, done for us in a program in, in the library called GLM or OpenGL Mathematics that we will download in another video in a second um, but yeah there's a lot of uh, calculations here but the point is that you get this mess here. And uh, yeah, that's a big, big mess. But the point is we will use this four by four matrix to transform each coordinate, X, Y, Z, a certain place, a certain scale, so anything like that. And it will uh, and it'll be able to create graphics. It'll be able to uh, animate stuff. And we'll be able to move objects on the screen. That'll be pretty cool. Um, so there's also something called combining matrices where you can combine two matrices in a single uh, to make a single operation so if you want to transform uh, in this matrix in this first one here we're transforming uh, the original coordinate by uh, one in the x two in the y and three in the z and we also want to scale each one by two uh, so if we want to do those together we just combine the matrices and what we get is uh, this resultant matrix and when we apply that resultant matrix here we're going to get a 2x plus 1, 2y plus 2, and 2z plus 3, just like that. Um, so the, sc the, scale the scaling comes first, and then the uh, translation will come second. So yeah, like I said before, um, we'll be using a library called GLM, and I'm not going to download that, that now, but it's simple. It should take one minute to do. Um, but yeah, so I'm going to end this video here, and in the next video we'll take a minute to download this so uh, yeah if you need any more uh explanations plenty of videos khan academy has a bunch or leave a comment um but there are plenty of online resources that you can use but honestly i didn't understand this for a bit all you have to do is just stare at it stare at this and then you should be able to understand how matrix multiplication works and then you can just realize that Th that this is just manipulating that multiplication in order to translate coordinates, scale coordinates, rotate coordinates in our coordinate system. So yeah, um, I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.